TikTok user Nick Semino says that his house has always been somewhat haunted. But things recently took a turn for the worse once he discovered some old patient IDs that had been hidden in his house behind a secret door. Nick has no idea how or why the patient IDs ended up hidden in his house. But the tags date back to 1965 and are all from the Kings Park Psychiatric Hospital in Long Island, New York. Before this hospital was shut down by the state, Kings Park Psychiatric was known for horrific patient abuse. I've laid all the cards out and we've been doing some research. You could only see them well with the flashlight, but a lot of the medications these people were taking were for schizophrenia and other like disorders like that. Some were for bipolar and some were from anxiety or like psychotic episodes. And this is mind blowing. These obviously are the easy ones to see. And it says like their department, their telephone number, all this, but these were crazy. You get the date, you get the doctor that prescribed it when they have to take it and what drug it was. I'm going to gather their names, their addresses, who their doctors were. I'm going to try to figure out if any of them are still alive. Why these were hidden in my house. Maybe someone lived in my house that like was in the psych ward or something like that. I'm going to research some of the buildings. I'll try to get answers. Because... Are you kidding me? No f***ing way. This is like an actual horror movie. <laughs> I literally think I just like summoned <laughs> something. I don't want to be down here now. I'm... After finding and researching the patient tags, Nick says that the haunting in his house just got more intense. Like what? This is... Oh my god, what is going on? The sink is on. I literally hear the sink. What is going on? What is this? Hello? Stuff was literally flying downstairs. Oh my god. Spirit, enough! <laughs> like stuff is just being thrown from me. And now the TV's off. What is going on? In this clip, Nick even manages to capture a bizarre shadowy figure in one of the doorways even though he says he didn't see the odd apparition while he was filming. But things get even more bizarre. Nick says that it now seems that the haunting has even followed him to his job at a local frozen yogurt shop. Okay guys, we were literally just about to leave my store when sh just started flickering again. This is the second time it's happened. My car's over there and- I'm shaking right now. Okay, and her keys are in the bag. We need to go. We need to go get my keys. And the light turned on. I don't want to go. Okay, well, I'm going to literally record this whole thing just so you guys can see what happened. I'm literally I'm so f***ing scared. <laughs> okay, okay, no, no, something. No. <laughs> the bathroom light's on too. Bro, why are my keys on the floor? They were not there. Like, I put them on the desk. Like... Oh my god. We're 50 minutes past our shift. <laughs> it, we closed at 10. So we need to like... It's And it's so dark because all the light switches are over here. Stop it. Stop it. Go. Okay. Go. Go. Okay. This is what I mean. Oh this room is over. This is... Oh my god. This is, this is what we're dealing with. Oh my god, yo. Yeah. What the f***? Bro, Nick, did you f***ing do this on purpose? I... You no, I'm gonna be out of your Stop! You're literally. Are you? No, wait, no, 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 no. No. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna peace out for the night. Okay. So cool. We're gonna peace All out right, for the night. Even his coworkers start experiencing intense supernatural encounters while working alone at the store. This is not a joke. Oh my god. Oh my 
God, literally no one f***ing here. To say Nick Samino's TikTok is probably the most compelling supernatural TikTok account I've ever seen. His footage shows multiple witnesses to his paranormal encounters, and the witness reactions actually seem pretty legit. But as always, real or fake, I leave it to you to decide. Nick is currently in the process of setting up a YouTube channel where he plans to show longer videos of his encounters, so head over there and subscribe. Or you can check out his TikTok at NickSamino68.